brief from the clinical team at Colchester Hospital was to find a modular building which created a different environment from the clinical efficiency of the busy hospital. A building which was environmentally friendly and adaptable to the particular needs of the palliative care team. KLH architects, who have worked with the NHS for many years, understood the brief exactly and following an extensive search, identified the green unit arc and confirmed their recommendation with user groups who were unanimously impressed. We were looking for a modular building for the, the hospital site, originally for the travel centre, but we didn't want a porter cabin. We didn't want something that wasn't, you know, interesting, and we, we wanted something a bit more unusual. The conclusion from this research was that the green unit arc felt like a dignified and peaceful space that patients could escape to markedly different to the very impersonal space on the busy hospital wards. Dr Angela Tillett, Medical Director of Colchester Hospital, confirms. I think the shape of the, the unit, the actual, if it brings about an immediate sense of calm and I think certainly we can already see the, the greenery on the top attracting the bees and it will just allow them to have that space outside in a very calm environment. We really recognise the link between your environment and how you feel and, and also in terms of improving how you manage any problems you do have. So this is going to be really important in terms of bringing about calm and also some time with loved ones in a private space and this will allow patients to have that time to relax hopefully in a really comfortable and beautiful environment. Rachel Stancliffe, founder and director of the Centre for Sustainable Healthcare, understands the importance of the NHS commitment to lowering the building energy use of NHS hospitals. The Centre's research is clear about the importance of a therapeutic environment for staff and patients Caroline Bates, Head of Fundraising at Colchester Hospital, confirms that the project has received tremendous support from the local community who recognise that it provides an exact solution to a very real need. We were looking for something that would be a bit different to the usual environment of the hospital and less clinical, but also that was environmentally friendly and could be adaptable to the need that we had for it. The green roof is something which makes it blend into the environment. It's eco-friendly, the U values, really a positive building all round. So we thought it was just great to have the opportunity to have something so unusual at the hospital. I think it's absolutely vital because what we are trying to do is put a hospice type environment into a national health organisation so that when people are near the end of their life instead of being totally restricted to a, a medical ward which is fine because that's where they need to be they have a chance for a bit of solitude or with their loved ones away from the hustle and bustle of the ward. Once other trusts have seen what's happened here that the, the potential for them to use it is, is probably going to take off. You know, I'm sure there'll be a lot of interest in it. We looked at the components of the building and how it's all put together and we were very impressed with the whole design process and how everything had been really thought through. The curved interior has a very comforting effect on people. I mean we're curved people and curved spaces fit us and in fact the whole design of the proportions is based around the human proportion. So the size of the curve is the curve that you could draw around a human form. So the building is a human building, it's for people. It's also for the planet because it's sustainable. The building is in sharp contrast to other uh, hospital buildings, some of which are surrounding us here, as a peaceful, calm space. The installation is bought here on an articulated lorry and it's craned off the lorry 
and taken actually over these three stories of hospital buildings and delivered onto foundations that have been prepared in advance of our arrival. And we are literally here for one day to install and commission the building. I think what we wanted to try and do was make somewhere that was peaceful and quiet away from the ward, which the green unit or the ARC does do that. It's lovely. When the doors are shut, it's very peaceful in there. It has multiple uses and hopefully we'll have the first patients coming and using the garden next week. This is the first time that the Green Unit had worked in the NHS and we're really pleased to have worked with them. I think it's been a learning process for both of us and we hope to work with them going forward into the future with some other projects that we have on site. The actual quality of the building itself and the functionality of it is excellent and this is partly why we went for the Green Unit.